All right, we're going to do number four from the 2007 BC exam. Um, it's actually a pretty straightforward question. Um, so we're told that f of v is 2, and we're also told what f prime of x is. So for part a, all we have to do is write the equation of the tangent line, which is, uh, you know, I don't know, take the points and run. So we uh, evaluate this. Um, you have to remember the natural log of e is 1. Um, that, and honestly, you don't even really need to remember that. I mean, I think you should simplify that, but I'm not 100% positive you need to. But anyway, uh, that's part A, so yep, let's move on. Uh, part B is a little more challenging, uh, at least if you do it in this first approach that I'm going to use. So we have to determine if the uh, function is concave up, if f of x, the function, is concave up or down on uh, the interval from 1 to 3. So I'm going to find f prime here, uh, f double prime rather. Um, which is product rule, so first derivative of the second plus second derivative of the first. Um, simplify this a bit and uh, factor it because i got to find some zeros. So I have this um, and now if it's going to equal zero uh, that implies either x is zero which is not in the domain of the function um, and it's also not um, on the interval that we're interested in so it doesn't really matter. Um, or we end up with that other factor equal to zero, which requires a little bit of pre-calculus type of knowledge. Um, so I'm going to exponentiate here. Get e to the negative one half, which is one over radical e. Uh, radical e is bigger than one, so it's one over a number bigger than one. So that's less than one. Um, and so it's not on the interval either. Um, so now all I really needed to do was um, determine if f double prime is positive or negative. Um, so both factors are positive on that interval, so f double prime is greater than zero. And if f double prime is greater than zero, then that means that f of x is concave up. Um, so that was kind of complicated, but not really that bad. Uh, there's an alternate approach that um, I kind of recommend, but you need to be a little clever to figure it out. And, you know, on the AP exam, uh, it's harder to be clever because you're under a lot of pressure. So um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at the... Um, the two factors that are making up f prime. So uh, this is a graph of x squared. Um, so you can see that on the interval 1, 3, uh, x squared is increasing and concave up. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, is positive and increasing. Um, those are the relevant facts. Um, and then for y equals natural log of x, which is the other um, factor, uh, it's also positive and increasing. Um, so I'm not going to use those graphs as my justification, but I am going to write up what those graphs represent. Um, so x squared is greater than 0 and increasing, and natural log of x is greater than 0 and increasing on the interval from 1 to 3. That means that f prime um, must also be increasing on that interval. Um, and if f prime is increasing, then we know f of x is concave up. Um, and, you know, that's a good solution that's easy to come up with. Um, and the justification is pretty easy, uh, not as computational. So kind of recommend it, but not sure you come up with it on your own um, during the exam. Uh, next thing, I have to integrate this. Definitely looks like integration by parts. Uh, it's an integration by parts where you, uh, you pretty much have no choice but to make natural log of x be u, because uh, you have to integrate u. Uh, and of course, you can memorize the antiderivative natural of, of the natural log. Um, I kind of recommend that actually, but you don't need to. Uh, so we have this, and so it's going to be u v minus the integral v du, which gives us that. And keep going, a little simplifying. Blah blah blah. Uh, it's actually not a very difficult integral from here. And so we get to this. Don't forget your plus c. Now what to do with plus c? Well, we know that f of e is 2. So we know that 2 is that whole thing with e plugged in. Um, and from there we can solve for c. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out the final function. Um, so f of x is 1 third x cubed natural log of x minus 1 ninth x cubed plus 2 minus e cubed over 3 plus e cubed over 9. Um, so it's gross, and uh, don't be afraid on the AP exam when the constants that you're finding end up really, really ugly, um, because, you know, why would they end up nice? So don't worry about that, don't stress about it, just make sure you do the work correctly and you'll be fine. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.